Now, me hotties, time for treasure. Ah, time for treasure. Time for treasure. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Quasi and Calico Jack reporting from Isla Escudo de Veraguas. Our mission to plant new mangrove trees is going swimmingly, Captain. That's good news, Quasi. But you might want to let your granddad know you're supposed to plant the trees, not bury them. Yeah. <laughs> Beach burial. Sorry, I thought you said this was treasure. Aye, Grandad, but a different kind of treasure. Oh, indeed, Quasi. Mangrove trees are a very important treasure. Mangrove trees are a natural tool for defending against erosion. They protect shorelines from damage caused by strong winds. And their tangled system of roots holds the ground together. This is especially important during storms and hurricanes. And they provide homes for many different creatures, like fruit bats, mangrove crabs, and sea turtles. Aye, mangroves are a true treasure. Now, hop to it, mateys. We've got some mangroves to plant. <laughs> about. It looks like the trees are overrun by some sort of hairy creatures. Oh, it must be a pack of the legendary shaggy sea apes. <laughs> Aye, the shaggy sea apes are a rare sight, as fierce and dangerous as they are strange. Shaggy sea apes like to be sneaky and camouflage themselves using mangrove leaves. Then, they ambush unsuspecting pirates. That's why the shaggy sea apes go after mangrove trees like pirates after treasure. The mango Madonna. We'd need an entire crew of pirates to protect our mangroves from those plundering sea apes. <laughs> but where can we find an entire pirate crew? Pirate crew! Great idea, Pete. We'll train the Vegemoles to be pirates. Now, which way did that scallywag beetle go? <sighs> Granddad, there he is. Ahoy, matey. Stop. Stop. No way. I'm on a scouting mission. Wait. You don't understand. We're trying to help you. Oh, yes. Help yourselves to this. Quasi, that's just an old empty cobweb. Are you sure? Are you sure? Check my back. Check my back. All clear, matey. No skull spiders in sight. Now, where's that beetle? There he goes. Avast! Your friend sent us to find you. Uh, you think I'm going to fall for that? <laughs> Well, that was an unlucky break, and Bailey got away. Yeah, that little stinker's really starting to bug me. That's it, Quasi. It is? I remember how bad that beetle's acid smelled. How could I forget? That's how we'll find him again. All we've got to do is follow our noses. <sighs> this away. <laughs> I think I lost them. <laughs> now to finish my mission. <laughs> <laughs> What's the big idea? Oh, sugar. How nice of you to drop in. You're just in time for dinner. 
And you're the main course. <laughs> Stop! Oh. Trust me, you do not want to eat this beetle. And why not? Eating a bombardier beetle will give you serious bellyache. Plus, he stinks. <laughs> this sweet little old beetle? <laughs> he doesn't smell bad at all. In fact, he smells good enough to eat. Uh, I do. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, Bailey. Do your thing. What thing? You know. The, the squirty thing. Oh, right. I almost forgot. <laughs> Oh, my goodness, Mr. Beetle. You surely are not what I want to have for supper. Here, have a fish biscuit instead. Oh, thank you, sir. The Octowatch signal's getting stronger. Pete should be close. <laughs> There he is. <laughs> Try and get help. Try and get help. Now I know we're on another planet. A planet of huge umbrella monsters. I think they're just trees, Quasi. Unusual looking, but still trees. Granddad, it's the red ooze. Get it off before it melts your paw. Oh, it's just tree sap, Quasi. Oh, I've never seen red tree sap before. Ugh, what are you doing? A pirate never knows when something might come in handy. Uh, Granddad, run! What? It's just a dragon's blood tree. Who said that? An alien? <laughs> it's just a small lizard. Who are you calling lizard? I'm a chameleon, and I'm trying to hide from a vulture. Uh, you wouldn't happen to be missing an egg by any chance? Why, yes, that vulture stole it from our clutch, didn't he, dear? Oh, yes. Thank you so much for returning it. Shiver me whiskers. You chameleons can change color and hide anywhere. More often we change color because of how we're feeling, or if we get hot or cold. So we can tell a lot about one another just by looking. Oh. Huh? Those guys again. I better get out of here. Well, take a look at that. Invisible aliens guarding sparkly moon rocks. Not invisible aliens, Quasi. But maybe it's something that could help us get off this island. I found the Gup R. But no one's aboard. How's Pete doing? Better. But he still can't tell us how to find Quasi and Calico Jack. Uh, Quasi and Calico Jack? Ha! Ah, the Octowatch might give us a clue. What is that? It looks like an Egyptian vulture. It must have accidentally triggered the Octowatch to record. Ha! Ah, that's a bottle tree. There's only one place in the world where bottle trees can be found. Socotra. It's an island in the Indian Ocean off the coast of Africa. It's so isolated that one third of the unusual plants and animals on Socotra can't be found anywhere else in the world. It's a mysterious island. Ah, uh, Mystery Island? Dashi, set course for Mystery Island. Setting a course for Socotra now. Hold on. You don't leave any paw prints in the sand. Of course not. Sand cats have special fur on our paws. It protects us from getting burned by the hot desert sand and from sinking down into it. See? No paw prints. Mmm. That little cat looks like a tasty treat. Wait, I hear something. Sounds like a sand viper. <gasps> Stay back, you scurvy snake, or we'll... Will. <laughs> oh, you'll what? Watch out! He's venomous! Leave this to me. Pesky sand cat! Can't catch me! Yeah, well, I caught some of you. <laughs> Too slow again. Ah! 
These cats are too much work. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. How'd you do that? Fighting off vipers is just part of being a sand cat. Otherwise, those pesky snakes would get into all of my food hiding places. Cost me one of my whiskers, though. You may be a small cat, but you're as tough as any pirate. Thanks. And you guys are almost as tough as any sand cat. See? Here's your backpack. Ah, oh, my wee little kitten whiskers. They're still here. A deal's a deal. You found the perfect spot to bury me treasure. <laughs> Even I couldn't find it here. You know, Sandy, not all pirates have to sail the seas. Huh? Sandy the Sand Cat, as an honorary pirate, it is your sworn duty to protect this treasure. Ah, protect this treasure. In exchange for a regular delivery of fish biscuits, courtesy of the Octonauts. Your treasure will be safe with me, Calico Jack, because I'm keeping my treasure with it. Shiver me whiskers. Is that your whisker? The one you lost when you tussled with that sand viper? Yeah. It's a memento of our first pirate adventure together. And a priceless treasure indeed. To the Octoray. Wow, look at that. I'm Captain Barnacles. I like to go with the flow. Above and beyond.